Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be needle felting. I think I'm gonna needle felt a mouse today. I love making mice. They're one of my favorite things to do. So why not do one today? Just a huge disclaimer. This is in no means a tutorial. I am not a professional. I'm more so a beginner to intermediate. I'd say more on the beginner side. I know the basics. That's about it. So not a tutorial. Just more so just me showing the process and you know just having fun right and so I hope you guys could have fun with me and enjoy the video so let's get it started ooh, ooh. by the way my cat Yumi my cat Sasha they're both gonna be chilling with me today I'm just so cozy right now I have my sweater on <sighs> what a fun right here these are my loves, these are my babies. Okay, let's get to the video. So I'm going to start off by doing the head of the mouse. I'm going to be using this um, basic white core wool. And yeah, I'm just gonna start by rolling it up. Rolling, rolling into a cylinder type shape see once I'm done just like this and then I'm just gonna be using my needle and just stabbing 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 until I get sort of like a cone shape I kind of wanted to have like a little peak for the little nosy so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and work on the head In order to get that cone little shape, little triangle nosy, I'm just pinching it and just kind of guiding the wool um, into the shape that I want. So far, this is the shape that I have. I still want this to be more pointy. Right now it's kind of <laughs> janked up, but just keep going, trust the process. Do pros still have problem with stabbing themselves or is that just a me thing? This is pretty much well felted. It could be felted a bit more, but I'm going to leave it like this just so that when it's time to attach the head to the body, it would be easier for it to attach because when it's super felted then the fibers don't really have something to hold on to when it's time to attach it so i'm really like this and then once i attach it then i'll start you know perfecting it and felting it more so yeah i'm just gonna leave it like this but here's the head okay so now i'm gonna move on to the body I'm going to do the same method with my core wool, just doing to a cylinder shape. This time we're going to try to make it round, all around. Just like that. And do the same thing. 
poke it, poke it, poke it until it's like a nice round little shape. Just like that. Okay, body not bad, but he needs to be tubbier. He needs a belly. Animals are cuter with a belly. He needs a belly. So I'm gonna add a belly. Belly. Belly, belly, belly. So I've done the body, he has a little belly, I'm thinking his body may be too small right now but you know I could add more wool later, like his, it's almost the same size as his head. So now what I'm going to do is work on the limbs. So for that I'm going to go ahead and grab my pack cleaners, so just give me one second. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this pipe cleaner. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a couple pieces. Four. Two for the arms, two for the legs, and actually a fifth one for the tail. Alrighty, so. I have the limbs and the tail. So what I'm going to do is grab my core wool and wrap these pretty tightly along with some pink that I have here. I have a little bit of pink and that's going to be at the very end. There's going to be little nubs for the hands. I'm going to go ahead and do that and yeah. So here's one. Can that, can't really tell the pink color really with the sliding, but it's it's definitely pink. Kind of looks like it just blends in with the white. But there's one. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest. As for the tail, it's just gonna be all all pink. So I went ahead and I. Do the little balloons, the arms and legs. Oh, there they are. Now I just gotta needle felt them. I also did the tail, however, I didn't do such a good job wrapping it up, so I might have to do that again. But where's the tail? I'm just gonna start poking them. I think I'm going to use a smaller size needle for that. I very much struggle doing arms and legs, limbs in general. So, if there are any tips, tricks, anything at all, please feel free to comment them down below. I would really appreciate that. I went ahead into the tail and I did the four limbs. There's a the body. And now it is time to attach. So I've decided that the ones with like the bigger nubs are gonna be the feet. And then the ones with smaller nubs are gonna be the arms. So 
<laughs> there it is so far. I'm going to grab some more of my core wool. And then just pretty much just attach it. Like so. You'll see what I do. I don't really know how to explain it. Like I said, not a tutorial. So let's see how I do this. <sighs> I'm going to explain my thought process here. What I'm basically doing is making like a hole kind of with this larger needle and sticking it in and then pushing the felt in. So this is what I have. <laughs> it's kind of a little janky, janky legs right here. And then I'm gonna grab some of this core wool and wrap it around the legs to give it more stability, give it a better shape. I'm just gonna start off with this a little bit. If I feel like I need to add more, I will, but this is where we're at right now. I'm gonna go ahead and use my star needle. Okay, I think I am satisfied. Could use a bit blending there, but I think that's good for now. So now for the arms. I have attached the arms now. There they are. Whee! Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with how he's looking right now. I think I'm gonna. Oh, wait, I forgot about the tail. <gasps> I'm gonna attach the tail too. Hmm. I'll do that last. Because I wanna get to the face. So I have a little bit of black wool. Gonna use the tiniest bit and I'm gonna ball it up. His eyes too close for a mouse. I think so. I think it should be more 
on the side. It kind of looks weird right now. You could just rip his eyes out. So now for the nose, I'm going to grab some pink and kind of do the same thing with the eyes. Just like roll it up and stick it in. Looks like I'm going to grab less on this actually. I mean. barely see the pink with this lighting but it's there um his I feel like his head is still really long so I may do something about that he looks like he has like a cranium maybe because he doesn't have ears yet we'll see <laughs> why does he look yeah he has like a peanut head Whoa. yeah we gotta fix that maybe it's just the fact that we just gotta stab it more because the sale's gonna stab it later but so far I'm gonna leave the nose like that and I'm gonna go ahead and outline it with some black and then do a little smile on his face. There he is, a little nosy. Good smell now. Okay, anyway. Um, the ears. Okay. Now, for the ears. Normally, what I do is using like the pink felt or whatever color that it is I'm using, I make the ears out of that. But this time around, I want to try something new. Um, let me see how it goes. I'm going to be using this felt fabric I got from the craft store. I've seen like people on Pinterest use this type of felt fabric, so I'm going to try it out myself. This pink is a bit darker than, you know, his little toes and fingers, but it'll do. I also have this um, other one. It's a bit more sturdier. I don't know if this type of felt fabric is used for things like this. I don't know what else it would be used for, but I got it anyway. But I think for today, I'm just going to try this one out. This more flexible one. And yeah, so I'm just going to cut little ear shapes. 
Yeah. I got the final shape of the ears that I wanted. They're not exactly even, but it's good. I'm good with it. I'm fine with it. So what I want to do is have the ears like this, kind of like little flower petals, and attach it to the side. And I'm giving him big ears on purpose because I think that's just super cute. So I don't know how to attach them now. I mean, I'm... Ugh. Yeah, I don't know how to attach these, so bear with me while I figure this out. Can you felt? Like, can you like poke it and will it stay? It's my big one. <gasps> it does. Hmm. So, okay, that's that's interesting. I don't know I could do that. So now, can I just felt this straight onto here? Would that work? Oh my gosh, I could do that. Wow, look at that. I am genuinely amazed by that. I didn't know this fabric could do that. I learned something new every day. Okay. So we'll just do the same thing with this other ear. To get that little shape, this beautiful shape. I think like this one a bit more. Wow. Look at that. I mean, I'm gonna try to just felt it straight on here since it's felting together. Maybe it'll do it. I'm nervous. Like, bear with me. <laughs> We're figuring it out. Or I'm figuring it out. Is that too high? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. I noticed before. Going too far. Oh my gosh, it's. Sticks. I did not know you could do that with this type of fabric. I mean, it is felted fabric, but that's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> wow. amazed so now it's time to attach the bod to the head just like so and no let's get to it The head is pretty much attached, pretty much close to being finished. Now it's just kind of doing like the little finishes, um, really poking him, making sure he's firm and stiff everywhere, making sure his face isn't crooked like it is right now. So yeah, just doing little fixer uppers here and there. And then I'll back. Gosh, man, he is like one little crooked mouse, huh? It's okay. We'll fix him up.
you know what he kind of reminds me of? Mr. Rockburn with his long face from Arthur. But I mean, I think he looks better than what he did a couple minutes ago. Kind of fix him up a bit. I did forget the tail, so I'll add that. But however, before I do that, I kind of want to add some personality to him. You know, right now he's just a little naked little mouse. Running free, running wild, in the nude. We need to add some clothes. But what 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 kind of clothes does he wear? What kind of mouse is he? Is he a scientist mouse? Is he a jock mouse? Ugh. What is he? What is he? Look into his eyes. Maybe not that close, you see all the imperfections. <laughs> I don't know, let's see. Let's see what I could do for him. I have some scrap of wool that I wet felted some time ago, so maybe I could do something with this. I wish I had more of this felt fabric that I used for his ears. Could have like, sewn him a cute outfit. You wonder how no sewing skills, but you know. He's a pirate. Err. Sorry, you had to hear that. Hmm. A chef? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Unfortunately, for my skill, I cannot make art out of pipe cleaners. I try to do sunglasses. Make him a cool mouse, but you know. It's not quite working out. This is not it. Not it. He's listening to music now. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's seriously think about what we want to do with him. Probably should have thought about this before recording, but here we are. Mm. I'm just gonna sit and stare at him for quite a bit. Um, once I come up with an idea, I'll be back and share. And we'll go from there. Cool. Cool. Okay. I'm back. And I have gotten inspiration. I was like, okay, well, I did say he looked like Mr. Rapper. And for those of you who do not know, who did not grow up without cable, Mr. Rapper is a teacher. So I was like, okay, let's roll with that. I made these glasses out of some scrap wire that I had. You can clearly tell they were handmade. I am now considering investing on buying miniature clothing, miniature accessories. But you know what? It adds personality. Maybe he is a crazy scientist teacher. Hmm? Hmm? Could be. So let's just stand him right there. I was like going crazy trying to figure something out. So let's just stand him right there. And what I'm going to do, he is going to wear a nice green coat similar to what Mr. Rapper wears. I've never made a jacket before. Just like I never made glasses before, but we did that. And like I said, he's a crazy teacher, crazy science teacher, so it's okay if he looks a little bit disheveled, a little bit homeless. It's fine, right? That's the look we're going for. I mean, I could wet belt it, but 
let's just do this. Let's see, let's see how this works. We're just gonna lay it out. I think I'm gonna use this for the sleeves. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Don't ask me why I started with the sleeves first. Yeah, just don't ask me. I don't know the answer to that. But let's keep going. I made his little coat. He has little gold buttons, little buttonholes. I made a tiny little collar. The coat isn't super um, belted. It's still pretty fuzzy, but kind of like how it looks. It's kind of like he's wearing a little wool coat, you know? I attached his tail. And yeah, there he goes. There he is. Little teacher mouse. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, I love how he came out. So there he is. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching um, my process. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm planning on putting up an Etsy shop so maybe you'll see this little guy on there for sale. I really like how he came out and I'm proud of him. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Ah, so cute. Love it. Bye.